Hi students, welcome to yet another DPP of atomic structure. There are some questions based on Bohr model. Now let us attempt them. The first question, the ratio of the radii of the first, the second and the third orbits of hydrogen atom is. Now let's see, so let's try to draw something here. Let this be the first orbit, then second orbit will be somewhere here, and third be somewhere here. Now let us call them R1, ratio R2, ratio R3, right? Now one, we know one thing that radius is equal to Bohr radius A0 into number of orbit n is square divided by the protons number that is Z. Now hydrogen has one proton, so this is the answer, A naught N is square. So we just substitute N equal to one and two and three. So if we do that, then first orbit radius is clearly A naught, second is four A naught, and third is nine A naught. So you can clearly see the ratio comes out to be A naught ratio, four A naught ratio, 9A0. You cancel this thing out. That is 1 ratio, 4 ratio, 9. So there is answer. Option B is there. Very nice. Now let's see why other options are given. See this option is given because student will forget square then they will end up here. And some student will take the inverse of these two and will have option C and D. So that's how a smart examination designed the options. So that's good question. Now after the success let's come to the second one. The radius of the second orbit of helium plus, it is also hydrogen-like species. The radius of the second orbit of helium plus is R. Then the Bohr radius is. We all know that Bohr radius is A, which is basically equal to the radius of, let's say not, radius of the first orbit of hydrogen atom, right? Hydrogen atom has one proton in it. Now, we know that general expression of radius for any species is Rn is equal to A0 into N square by Z. Now you can clearly figure out for helium plus Z is, we can write over here, helium plus Z is two. So if question says that the radius of the second orbit, so I would say two to the power two, a naught divided by Z, which is two, this is equal to R. Now you can figure this out. If you simplify that, you will finally get R divided by two. So how much is this? That is 0 0.5 R, that's first option A. Why other options are given? Why other options are given? Someone will forget N, someone will do the reverse, they will end up at option C. Now let's come to question three. That's about velocity. The electron revolves with a speed equal to P percent of the speed of light. Then uh, in the first orbit of H, what is the value of P? We have to just figure out the level. You don't have to calculate the exact value. Now let's have the solution. Velocity in nth orbit we know is given like this. 2.18 into 10 to the power how much students? Six into Z by N. Right, this is the unit meter per second. So if you do this for first orbit, that is V1 for edges, 2.18 into 10 to the power, six meter per second. And we all know that speed of light is three into 10 to the power, eight meter per second. So let's take the percent. So P comes out to be V divided by C into 100, right? So if you solve this, then you can easily verify that this comes out to be uh, 2.18 divided by three. We don't have to do too much mathematics here. You can just verify 2.18 by three is less than one, right? So even less than 1% is the speed of light, we electron revolves, but that's a significant speed, right? In comparison to speed of light. So after the success of third question, let's come to the fourth. Consider the orbit of responding to the first excited state of hydrogen atom. The circumference of the orbit of the units of Bohr radius is, right? That means they are asking the answer after you eliminate the Bohr radius. 
so there are two things first you need to get to the radius of this orbit and then finally you have to find the circumference as 2 pi r2 so let's do that we know that r2 from the first question we have done it is n n into a into n square so for the first excited state students should do this clearly first excited state means n is equal to 2 right so it is 4 a naught so you put 4 a naught here it becomes 8 pi a naught now question says in the units of a naught that means apart from a naught what is the value 8 pi so that is amazing c option so these are the beautiful questions designed for your revision thanks a lot